So we're going to be taking a look at the illustrious measuring device, a set of calipers. What's a set of calipers, do you ask? Well, fear not, we're about to find out. They measure down to the nearest 1 20th of a millimeter, which is really, really tiny. And they're incredibly accurate. And the way that they do this is by lining up these little marks right here with marks on this big scale. So when you were reading the meter stick, or when you read a meter stick in this lab, you have that uh, estimation number. With the calipers, you won't. So let's look at a couple key features. The first feature that you're going to notice is the top measures inches. We are not going to use that. Inches are verboten in this lab. So you're going to be using the bottom scale right here. Now, when you look and this caliper is closed, you notice that the two zeros line up, which means your zero reading will always come from the bottom marking of zero, right here. Very tempting to use the metal jaw, but you don't want to use the metal jaw because these zeros line up. So always measure from the zero. So to use the calipers, what you're going to do is grip this little lever right here. Then you're going to open them, slide them around, and then push them snugly back. Now you will also notice that we're using a box of Crayola anti-dust chalk. Where in Westerman, chalk is important. This chalk is the best. But how big is this chalk box? Well, where do you start measuring? Take a moment and think about it. That's right, you measure from the zero point. So look at this zero point, and it will give you the first two digits. In this case, the zero is between these two numbers, so it's between 6.2 and 6.3. So the first numbers of our measurement are going to be 6.2. But we said this gets down to the 20th of a meter. So how does that happen? So our first two digits were 6.2 centimeters. Our last two digits come from this scale right here, this caliper scale. And you're looking for what line on bottom lines up with any line on top. So if I'm looking and looking and looking, I think it's, well, the four is pretty good, but I'm gonna call it this right here, this line in between the four and the five. So what's in between four and five? Well, 0.45, or in this case, our last two digits are going to be 6.245 centimeters. So the first two digits, right here, first two, come from where this zero is between. In this case, it was between 6.2 and 6.3. And the last two digits come from whichever line lines up on the best. And just use the first one that lines up best. Only one of them should line up, and that's kind of the definition of best, so you get to pick it. I guess I could have gone with 6.5, but this is where you take multiple measurements with the calipers. That's the basics of how you're going to use this. So let's do some practice on our own. So we're going to take some more measurements. We're going to measure the height of this box. So again, we're going to grab the release latch, slide it undone, turn the box, push it snugly closed, and we are ready to take our measurements. Now, as we're taking this measurement, I want you to note that we are directly above the scale. You always want to be directly above the scale. So I would like you to take time and measure this real quick. So pause the video, take a measurement, and then we'll see how we agree. All right. Now that you've taken your measurement, and please try it. If you didn't take time to do it, pause it now. Okay. First two digits come from where the zero is between. The zero, this zero right here, is between 8.2 and 8.3. So our first measurement is 8.2 centimeters. Which one of these lines lines up the best tells us our last two. I'm going to say it is the... Oh, I think it's this one right here. So that's going to be 0.25 centimeters. If it had been this two, it's not this two, then your last two digits are two zero. Very important, your last digit of a caliper reading will either be a zero or a five. If it lines up directly here, it would be three zero, 
four, zero. If it lines up in the middle, your last digit is a five, just like we've been seeing in our examples. So you know what's better than practicing once? More practice. And as you'll note again, we are using Crayola anti-dust chalk. Very important, especially if you have allergies or, well, if you stand next to the chalkboard, you'll find out why the anti-dust chalk's important. But we digressed. So pause the video, take a measurement, in this case, of the width of the box, or depth of the box, whatever you want to call it. It's the short side of the box. So pause the video for a couple seconds, and let's see where we are. All right. So my measurement, first thing, always look at where the zero is. Zero is between the 2.1 1, 2 .1 and 2.2. So it's going to be 2.1. Always want to use the lower side because it's not 2.2, it's closer to 2.1. And then your last two digits come from, which one lines up the best? I'm going to say this 3. So it is 2.1, 3, but remember this is actually 3, 0. It'll always end in 0 or 5. So 2.130 0 centimeters. And that is how you use the calipers. If you have any questions, uh, just raise your hand in lab. I'll be happy to help. Um, watch the video again, or if you've got a pair of calipers lying around, you can go measure lots of stuff. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in lab.